Girls, today I wanted to tell you about a really great free website online uh, that you can find called musictheory.net. Uh, it is all one word. You put it in, and this is the website that will pop up. Um, what I would like you to do is uh, you then have the option to either go into lessons. Girls, today I wanted to tell you about a great website that is free on the web. It is called musictheory.net. When you uh, input that. This is the website that pops up. You can see it here now. And you can see that you have the option to either go into lessons, exercises, tools, products, or contact. Um, what I would like you to first do is to go into lessons. So all I have to do is click on this lessons tab And from here, I can scroll down and uh, find a lesson that I want to learn about. So you can see we have uh, the first grouping is the basics. Then it says rhythm and meter. If I continue to scroll down, it says scales and key signature. So I would like you to go into uh, the key signatures section. And then you will see that a tutorial pops up that you can read through and uh, to learn about you know, how key signatures are even decided upon. Once you've read through that, then I would like you to um, go back <clears throat> just by arrowing backward and go into the exercises section. At that point, I would like you to uh, go to where it says key signature identification. It's right in the first grouping. Uh, if you click on it, you get this that says, um, do you want to open the exercise in Tenuto? But we just are going to use the web version. And then I have the option of, um, I'm going to answer some questions. So right now it's asking me, what is this key signature? And if you look up at the top, uh, you'll see that a clock is uh, timing me also. Right now I'm at 26 seconds, 27 seconds. Um, okay, so I'm going to guess and I'm going to say that this is the key of D. And I am right because I read my lesson and I learned something. It then goes on. You can see up in this uh, upper right-hand corner, I now have answered one out of one question correctly and I have 100% so far. Uh, this next key signature, I believe, is G. And notice that when I pressed G and I was correct, it turned green. Now, this next key signature is the key of E, but I'm going to guess incorrectly. I'm going to say A. Notice uh, the A turned red, and it did not go on to the next one. And also notice that my grade went down. I now have a 67%. All right, so now I'm going to answer correctly. Oh, I'm still wrong. <laughs> Deja, I meant E. <laughs> I forgot which one I had said. Um, now I'm in the key of C. And so um, I can keep going through until I get uh, 10 out of 10 uh, is, the, is what I'm looking for. When I go to the circle with the I in it right here, I have the chance to show my progress report. And it shows uh, what I did and what my time was and what my score is. And uh, I can put in my name. You would put in your name where it says student name. And you can print report. So I would like you to do this lesson and it will be due next Monday.